What is up everybody, Bootman here, and we are back with another Marvel Snap video. And we have just kicked off this brand new season with Hitmonkey as a season pass card. And somebody actually managed to hit infinite with a series three Hitmonkey deck in, I, I wanna say less than a day, but it was in like, within hours, all right? So, in this video, we're gonna break down the deck, we're gonna play some games, and hopefully, you could take this thing for a spin and hit infinite as well, all right? But before we get started, if you're new here, hi, my name is Chris, I also go by Bootman, and if you love Marvel Snap as much as I do, especially the competitive aspect, ranking up the ladder, playing battle mode, all that, you definitely wanna subscribe and ring that notification bell, because we also do a lot of cool stuff. Uh, first off, we have an amazing Discord server down in the description below, a ton of cool people sharing different deck ideas, strategies, all that kind of stuff. So make sure you join the Discord server. And and every single month, I give away three season passes for free, all right? But you gotta be subscribed and you gotta follow me on Twitter at BootmanMSTC. All that stuff's linked down in the description below. All right, so let's jump into this thing. All right, let me, let me, let me, switch, uh, let me switch views for you real quick. Um, so this deck actually comes from my man, Revis. All right, so Revis, um, I'm gonna link his Twitter and his Twitch down below. Super cool dude, awesome at Marvel Snap. He streams a ton, so he's mainly over on Twitch. I'm not sure if he has a YouTube channel, but anyways, um, he hit infinite with uh, with Hitmonkey. He said this is the shell he used and enjoyed. Uh, Monkey brings the power to another level, felt, comp uh, felt competitive against even Shuri. Lots of space for Monkey to flourish at its current power level, all right? So here's a list, I'll break it down in just a second, okay? So one one little caveat, okay? And this is the first thing I ask when anybody shares a list, especially like this, uh, and hits infinite that fast. Uh, I asked him, I was like, uh, you know, hey, uh, you know, how many bots did you face, right? Because Revis, like, I, I don't know the exact number, but I think he hit like, ranked like 500 or something like that. So for those of you who are unaware, people who get that high in the rankings, they started to they start to get into this bot MMR where they play a lot of bots. So I always try to ask, you know, because their experience is gonna be different than ours, all right? I've played with this for a while and I'll discuss my experience in just a minute, okay? Okay, but real quick, right now, you're probably looking at this list and you're like, yo, yo, Bast? Did you say, Chris, did you say series three? And, and, and I'm looking at Bast right here? Yes, I did. So I'm also gonna link this tweet down below. All of you need to go uh, bookmark this like I have. So Corrales from marvelsnapzone.com, uh, amazing website, make sure you check it out. They do a bunch of cool articles and stuff like that. Um, but they also have a YouTube channel hosted by Howling Minds, cool guy. But anyways, he put together this whole sheet right here that shows us when series downgrades are happening, okay? So April, April this month, Black Panther, Super Scroll, Bast, Shuri, and Valkyrie are all dropping to series three, okay? So if you don't have Bast right now, you will soon, baby. As long as your series three complete, Bass will be popping up in your uh, collection track very soon. When they are doing the series downgrades, I am not a thousand percent sure. Um, they usually do them like mid month or something like that. Um, so yeah, Bast will be coming to you soon, okay? So this is like the shell, like a typical Sarah deck, but there are some changes, okay? So let me discuss how I've been playing this thing and then some alterations that you can make or I've been considering making as well. But anyways, this is what uh, Revis used to hit infinite. All right, so Bast, Bast turns all of your uh, all of the cards in your hand to three power. So this is a good thing or doesn't really affect anything except for Sarah. Taking Sarah down one power is no big deal. Sarah is basically just there to reduce the cost, okay? Because again, Hit Monkey, gangster card, uh, plus two power for each card you played this turn. So the goal is to drop a ton of cards along with Hit Monkey and get this dude beefed up. We also have um, Mysterio in here. So Mysterio, if hit by Bast, rather than Mysterio being a two four with two zero, uh, uh, zero power illusions, Bast makes all of them two threes, okay? So it interacts with uh, Hit Monkey in the same way it interacts with Bishop. So it will actually, if you play Mysterio on the same turn as uh, Hit Monkey, it, uh, Hit Monkey will get six power because it'll get one for each illusion, okay? So then we have like Angela and Bishop. These two are awesome with Hit Monkey as well because they get buffed as well for cards that are dropped. 
Um, we have Goose here. Goose, I love Goose so much. Oh my God. And have you seen the Goose card back this season? And again, this season, I wasn't going to get too sweaty trying to hit infinite, but that infinite card back, for those of you who haven't seen it, for those of you who haven't seen it, check that thing out. Check that thing out. Like, I need that in my life. So, so we'll be shooting for infinite. I'm not going to be going too crazy. You shouldn't either too. Okay. We're still getting the five extra, um, ranks every time you hit like, you know, um, uh, 70, 80, 90, whatever, like, uh, 10 tier you hit, you get an extra five. So don't get too crazy. If you play enough, I promise you'll hit infinite. Okay. Um, but yeah, so then we have uh, like Sentinel to um, kind of maintain priority, keep power going on the board. Uh, then we have Killmonger and Shang-Chi. These are great, uh, like uh, Killmonger, like I just played against a zoo deck, snapped them, boom, wiped out their whole board. It was awesome. Also decent against Thanos decks, depending on which kind of Thanos deck they're playing, if they don't want all their little uh, stones to disappear. It, and you know, Killmonger's also decent against Shuri decks, okay? Because Shuri's play, um, they play Sunspot, they play Zero, they play uh, Titania. So there's gonna be some times when you could take off some power from their boards. Like I've, I've taken out some like uh, big sunspots that weren't hiding under armor and things like that. Killmonger is a dope card, love this card. Uh, then we have Shang-Chi, obviously to take out uh, bigger units and stuff like that. So then there is Wolfsbane. So Wolfsbane, um, I love this variant I got. I never used Wolfsbane, so I was like, oh, cool. An excuse to use Wolf Wolfsbane, nice. Um, so, uh, Wolfsbane gains plus two power for each card you have here. You will be filling up your lanes. Um, so Wolfsbane can turn into a two, a three, seven pretty easily, but yeah, I love being able to, I, I didn't get to dive into goose cause I was so excited to show you the card back, but goose is also a good counter to Shuri as well, as long as they're not floating and then playing a, a one cost, um, uh, she Hulk, you know what I mean? But Goose, phenomenal card. I'm so glad more and more people are using Goose. Okay, so real quick, real quick. I left this deck as is, but I'm definitely gonna experiment with it. So first off, if you don't have Bast, like I don't think that's a make or break for this deck, okay? So if you don't wanna wait until um, you know the downgrades happen, you can replace Bast, okay? Look at other Sarah decks and stuff like that. A lot of people put um, like, uh, uh, Scarlet Witch in here and stuff. Um, something that um, Lambie series mentioned on Twitter in that thread for Revis was talking about putting uh, America Chavez in here for a little bit of consistency. So if you do want to replace something like America Chavez might be a good one. There are definitely games that I've played where I'm like, America Chavez might have helped push the cards out that I wanted. You know what I mean? Um, so consider that. Uh, but I do think... Um, uh, because Lambda Series was mentioning replacing Wolfsbane with America Chavez. So I do think Bast and Wolfsbane are kind of like the flexible spots. But, but I will go out and say this. I will say this. I think most Sarah decks need Enchantress. I do not know. I do not know why people sleep on Enchantress so dang much. All right. Like, do you want a Shuri uh, counter? Get Enchantress. Okay. Okay, get Enchantress because they Cosmo one lane, they armor another lane, all right? They don't Cosmo under armor. So you take your freaking Enchantress, you take out their armor, you pop Shang-Chi in there and you do whatever the heck you want to, okay? So I would also consider putting uh, Enchantress in here. So as uh, this is a great deck, by the way, fantastic deck. I've been playing, uh, messing around with it, fantastic deck. Um, but I would consider maybe popping in Enchantress and or America Chavez in this. I'm gonna be experimenting with it some more, but I wanna show you this deck, show you some games. Revis got to Infinite within a few hours. Let's see how competitive it is. Um, right now, like for Hitmonkey, the Kryptonite is Sandman decks. I only faced like, I think I only faced one this morning. I played about 20 games. So not, there's not too many. There's not too many people trying to ruin our fun. All right, but let's jump into some games. So as always, by the way, if you're new here, I will be showing you the losses as well. I don't like to just show you the highlights. I want you to show what can go wrong with these decks uh, or my play style, your play style might be different, stuff like that. So we're just gonna be playing straight through, all right? So with this one, just toss out the Nova in the Miniaturized Lab. See how many cards this dude has in their hand. And by the way, for those of you who don't know, this right here, this little deck thing, I'm using, this is the deck tracker for untapped.gg 
phenomenal if you're playing on your PC. Not only does it record your stats and everything, but it also tracks, you guys can't see it on the right hand side, but it also track every card that the opponents discarded, destroyed, helps out a ton, a ton. So if you want to, I have an affiliate link down in the description below. Uh, it's totally free, but when you use my link, a little bit comes back to support the channel, so it helps out. But yeah, it's beneficial to you too. And um, they also started doing like tier lists and stuff like that over there. And you can check like for like decks to use and stuff like that with the cards that you have. So um, when you use this tracker, it feeds more data and it helps out the whole community. So we know what decks are the best, you know what I mean? All right, so. Ooh, let's see. Decent hand, which is about to disappear from Attilan. Ah, like I want to put Bishop here, but I'm worried about clogging up my board until Miniaturized Lab opens up, but whatever. Bishop's dope. We're going to do it. Looks like they had the same idea as us. Yeah, it's just board space right now. So here's what I'm gonna do. This is probably the best thing we can do. So I really, yeah, yeah. If I had, if I had Killmonger, I might put Bast here. Um, but I don't. What are they playing? <laughs> Yeah, I'm glad that they hit Goose because these guys are playing, yeah, they're playing a deck where everything's gonna be under four uh, power any, or four costs anyway, so whatever. Give me Sarah. Sarah would be phenomenal right now. Not Sarah. All right, so we're gonna drop Wolfsbane, get some power here, here and here, and then we're gonna go hit Monkey into Mysterio. We'll see how that goes. If we get another two drop, like a Sentinel or something, that'd be cool. Huh, okay. They're doing like a beast bounce with Zabu too? They have priority. If I have Shang-Chi, I <laughs> don't have Shang-Chi. So they're gonna have 14, so this is gonna go up to 27, and then they can go up to 18 here and 22 here. If I go like this, I'm gonna be adding, oh my God, this is where the math gets crazy because both my bishops are gonna get buffed. Ugh. So nine um, plus, I think, ooh, five here. I do not think, I don't think we're going to win this. I'm going to retreat um, because, yeah, I don't I don't think I'm going to be able to get enough power. If I had Shang-Chi, since we're going to this without priority, I would definitely play this. I would drop Shang-Chi and Hit Monkey right here, tag their um, uh, their Darkhawk, and then hope to God that their other Darkhawk went here. But uh, since that's not happening, we're dipping. Early in the season, we ain't playing around with cubes, baby. We're getting out of here. Cube management. But yeah, by the way, there are just so many hit monkey decks that are people are making and stuff. And like, if you've been around my channel for at least five minutes now, uh, you know how excited I've been for this card. So I'm gonna be doing a bunch of videos showing a variety of hit monkey decks. A lot of people are doing experimenting and I love it. I think this is one of the more popular season passes. So I think a lot of you got them. All right, um, you might feel free to let me know down in the comments below if you got the season pass, if you didn't, whatever. But yeah, hit monkey is a very versatile card. And it's going to be even better once our girl, Kitty Pride, comes back. Okay, so check it out. Yondu just um, hit our Nova, but I was talking to you, wasn't paying attention. With this deck tracker, boom, I got a little thing. You guys can't see it because of the way my, my little screen set up, but it's showing me what was discarded, so it's nice. Oh, Plunder Castle. Oh, my God. And these people are playing either a Destroy deck or a Galactus deck, so Plunder Castle is going to be a lot better for them. And Bass isn't going to do much for me. 
We'll just get we'll just get some sentinel down on the board. Sick. Still still might be a uh, Galactus deck. Like Galactus decks love Plunder Castle. Love it. And they don't even gotta drop ramp. Oh my god, I played a game earlier. This is crazy. Like, I played a game earlier against a destroy deck and freaking um, Collapse Mines came out. You know? So it's like, oh my god. So, like, when Murder World comes out, anything that's helping a destroy deck when you're not playing a destroy deck, but that's, that's kind of how the game's been, right? Like, they've made so many locations that just benefit destroy decks. So right now I'm debating, like, do I want to Bast and then, like, uh, Sentinel so I can hit my Bishop. That might be more value. Yeah, I might as well because this game might be uh, oh, whoops whoops. This game might be lost just because we might be playing a Galactus deck Free Wolverine where are you gonna go Wolvie? On your castle, of course, <laughs> of course. By the way, this is why I tell you guys, like, don't beat yourself up over not hitting infinite, okay? Because you might play like 50 games like this. I've talked to a lot of you and like, when when RNG just isn't on your side, it just isn't on your side. And it's like, what are you gonna, what are you gonna do about it? Hey, you guys think this is a Galactus deck? What do you think? Give this video a like if you think we're playing against a Galactus deck. They haven't snapped me, so maybe they haven't drawn Galactus. Says the guy who's about to get Galactus, because they always draw Galactus. Oh, they were waiting. They were waiting. Yeah, I still want to try the Hit Monkey Bounce deck. Oh my God, where were you last turn, Goose? You little silly kitty. You little silly kitty. See, Kitty, uh, or not Kitty, <laughs> Goose is a great counter for Galactus. You drop her here, they can't uh, drop their Galactus right here, and we all have a good time. But uh, yeah, bounce decks are fun too when they drop Hobgoblin. Oh, this person just figured out. They just figured out turn six that that they might <laughs> that they might have the upper hand over my deck. So they decided to snap. Uh, here, here's your here's your cube. Here's your cube. <laughs> Yeah, and I, by the way, I've heard people like say this too, like um, when people complain about, you know, just the bad RNG in this game and stuff like that, they're like, well, actually, good players, they know how to work with the RNG, okay? So if one of if one of you, uh, well, actually people are out there in my comments, tell me, tell me how that game with uh, Plunder Castle going up against a Galactus deck, how we could have done that better. You let me know. You let me know down in the comments. Maybe that's what I'll start doing. I'll start giving away prizes for stuff like that. Oh. We'll do this. We'll get a little goose down. What you plan? Okay. We could do a Wolf's Bane, right? So Wolf's Bane will get max right here. And then when we Nova. Smelling like Shuri. So see, this is good. So they're not gonna be able to put their Red Skull here, right? Um, what they're probably gonna have to do is float. But that screws up my Nova too. Yeah, the only play we really we we have right now is Kitty Pride. Or not Kitty Pride. Why do I keep calling Wolfsbane Kitty Pride? Make me stop. Make me stop. So this Cosmo stops uh stops our uh on reveal hit monkey too. Oh boy. By the way. This is why I'm Enchantress, Enchantress. I could have snuck an Enchantress in there. Freaking boom. Enchantress, Killmonger would have taken out their zero. Probably gonna skip turn because they have She-Hulk. Oh, no. 
Huh. Okay, so they cannot, they can't play. Huh. So we're at 14. If they drop Titania here, they'll be at 13. If they drop Sunspot here, is that still 13? Yeah, because one, then five energy left. So that'll be a six. No, they'd be tied here. We'd be tied here and they'd win the breaker. One cube, Fortune favors the bold, right? So we're just doing this to buff up um, Bishop. Whoa. Did we just win that? Oh no. It's a Captain Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do one. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. And hopefully the RNG gods will be in our favor. Well, 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 will you look at that? We're playing against uh, Mike Tyson. Fantastic Bast. Fantastic. If Bast can hit Angela and Bishop, mwah, amazing. Ideally, we want to hit like Hit Monkey 2, but I'll take this. I'll take this. Oh, oh, by the way, by the way, uh, the new um, Across the Spider-Verse trailer just came out for uh, Miles Morales. It comes out June 2nd, and we're going to, you know, have a season around that, too. Go check out that trailer. Going to be sick. Yeah, but this Quantum Realm just kind of screwed us, too, all right? Hmm. I guess I do not want to get a bunch of vibranium up in my thing. I'm just wondering if I should play just play Killmonger right now because I want to at least get Sarah or have a chance to get Hitmonkey as well. Yeah, let's just do this. Let's just do this. We'll clear up some space for both of us. Yeah, like this is very, very good. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. All right, so we have Hitmonkey. We do not have Sarah. So I think I want to do this. Ugh. I mean, this and this. Yeah, because Hitmonkey and Mysterio can get. Do some work. This will probably be the best way to spread out power. Uh, no, but we don't know. We should probably just, so if I go like this and this, no, 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 no. Boom! Mike Tyson got scared. <laughs> okay, so let me walk you through what I was gonna do, okay? So, I was gonna move the the bigger Mysterio to the middle, just get a little extra oomph, all right? Uh, our hit monkey was gonna become a two six because of Mysterio, because he'd go one, two, three. Um, we'd get a two power Mysterio over here, which wouldn't matter, right? And then we'd put uh, Vibranium, and hit monkey here so that's six ten plus angela would have gotten six extra power because we'd have three cards here so yeah so we'd have 10 plus six 16 here we have a four power mysterio here turn this into 20 but bishop would also get three from mysterio right so we'd have an extra three there plus the other two cards that went here, so five. We, we would have had some big stuff going on. This, this was close to an ideal game. Close to an ideal game. They retreated, they didn't get the draws that they needed, but 
this would have been good. Like, I think the way this played out, it would have been able to compete with some decent decks, like the way that we got our draws and everything like that. Um, yeah. Yeah, I was wondering if they were gonna float too and just um, put a She-Hulk here. I didn't, wasn't sure what kind of deck they were playing. They had Bast in here though. Interesting. Might've been similar to ours. But anyways, could have Shang-Chi here if they did drop um, uh, a She-Hulk, would have been phenomenal. Phenomenal. All right, everybody, that was the Sarah list from uh, Revis that helped me get to Infinite. Go ahead, give it a try. Let me know your thoughts on the deck list down below or if you've been playing with uh, some other decks. Uh, there are a million different variations of the Sarah list that you can use. Uh, those of you who know me have been around for a while. Uh, Majantris is very similar to Sarah. Mm, that might be a decent one to try. Maybe I'll try getting Hit Monkey up into uh, Majantris, see how that goes. But yeah, this is a pretty decent deck. Again, just keep in mind that Revis is in a higher uh, MMR bracket, so we did play some bots. Um, but I do think this is competitive. I'd let you know the kind of alterations that I might make, stuff like that. Maybe slip Chavez in here, maybe slip Enchantress in here. You know what I mean? But I will link uh, Revis's Twitter and his Twitch down below, along with that uh, big list that they made at Marvel Snap Zone for all of the series downgrades. So you can see that, take that, bookmark it, print it out, hang it up on your wall, whatever you gotta do, baby. All right, but that's all I got for this video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Let's see if we're we can hit 8,500 subscribers by the end of the month. Month just started, we only need like 200 more. Let's do this, me and you. And don't forget to join our awesome Discord server down in the description below. And make sure you follow me on Twitter, at BootmanMSTZ, if you wanna be part of our monthly giveaway ways for the season pass we give away three every single month i just gave uh did it yesterday gave the lucky winners of season passes it's all good all right so have an amazing rest of your day and i'll see you in the next one